Hamilton County parents will get the opportunity to give feedback over the next two months on proposed big changes for some schools in the district. The joint proposed facilities plan was announced last month by the county mayor and the superintendent. This evening, the discussions moved to East Lake. School board members proposed the redevelopment of East Side and East Lake Elementary Schools. Local 3's Jeremiah Beatty reports. District leaders wanted to hear from the community on plans suggested by the school facilities working group. The proposal suggests expanding East Side and East Lake Elementary and closing down Clifton Hills Elementary. But before they do anything, they want this to be a collaborative effort. Not just about facilities, but it's about opportunities for kids. If Clifton Hills closed, students would be split up and sent to either East Side or East Lake Elementary. One teacher says kids wouldn't be able to walk to school if they're sent farther away. How are those families that don't have access to transportation going to get to the schools? Okay. That's a very large population of our schools. A high percentage of the community is Spanish speaking and some worry about language barriers in a mega school. The kids that don't speak English, I feel like they kind of get left out, but I don't feel like they get the individualized time or attention that they need. Some staff members express they are already struggling with overpopulation and some fear expanding may only worsen the issue. Right now at my school we have uh, like 380 um, ESOL students. There are 11 ESOL teachers at my school. Could you imagine trying to teach children as a team of 20? Others question whether modifying community schools into mega schools would compromise the education of students. What data do we have to support that our other mega schools in the district are performing at higher levels or making exponential growth like these three schools are? And I feel like the bigger the school gets, the less connected you get with yes. You don't have time to individually know these kids. District leaders say every concern will be considered before making a final plan. And we recognize that this is going to take a huge commitment from our community. A number of community meetings are scheduled before the end of October. Recommendations will be presented to the school board in December with a final vote happening in January. Reporting for Local 3 News, I'm Jeremiah Beatty.